Yo, what is up guys? Today I'm bringing you another video, and this is actually a very exciting one. I'm bringing you a car game, fuck yes. This most probably will pro- I don't even know what to say, or how to say it. This is most probably the best drift game ever. It's an online drifting game, and it is so amazing. If you guys actually know about this game and have played it, you would know that your car does not come and look like this. Um, it actually comes like standard, just looks like a normal Subaru or Toyota, whatever you want to call it. It comes in red and stuff. I actually made my car look like this, which I think is extremely, it looks extremely awesome. I'm actually going to show you guys um, styling. Let's go to Vin Lyles. And this is how my car looks. I added the blue mags, I added the pattern. I'm leaving the, the top and I'm leaving the hood, the roof, and the back end of the boot just black. And I added the Toyo Tires text. You, they don't give it to you. You have to type it in yourself. And I added like a back, a black, like sort of shadow type of thing. You just have to duplicate the layer and increase the size of the original one. And I added the sticker at the back called Blow Me. If you get it. <laughs> you might be wondering like, Dude, what's up with the with the police sirens on top? I'm like, that's something I added. I thought it looked that cool, man. You can add, you can actually add like, um, uh, yeah, back. Oh shit, don't not buy. Like, if you go here to objects, look at this. Object two. There's a hot dog on top of this car, man. Like, what the fuck's going on here? There's a taxi sign. I don't know that. I like, really need to fix that though, because it doesn't like blend in pretty well. Say all this shit. There's a shark on top of your car. Like, where do you see that shit? And there's a pizza one. And you can actually do quite a number of customizations. Like, you can change the size of the exhaust, as you can see there. You can like change it pretty good. I think it's pretty damn awesome. And like you can change the spoiler. I decided to stick with the spoiler because I like it. It's nice and low. I don't really like high spoilers and shit. Like you can see there. That looks a bit like Rocket Bunny. And you can like change the front rims and the rear rims. Like as you can see, I'm changing the rear ones right now, and the front ones still stay the same. I don't know what's up with that. That one's, like, normal color, and then it changes blue, and it's blue, and it's blue. Like, it's kind of weird. I really like these rims. I actually want to buy them, but I first want to race or drift more and get more cash, and then I'll buy them. And, obviously, you guys were probably most wondering, like, get to the body already. And, like, okay... Like there, that's like standard drift bolt or something. No back bumper or front bumper. Then you get this one with like a nice body kit on it. And then you guys ready for Rocket Bunny. Check this shit out. Boom! That looks freaking insane. Check that shit out. I would really like to buy this, but you need to use credits. And by the looks of it, you know you get those games that you play online and you get certain stuff that you can buy with money that you earn in game and then you get the fucking shit that you need to buy with real cash in order to buy stuff which makes you want to like it supports the developers and they like if you really want something then you need to pay real cash just to get this like I've got 10,000 credit, credits and you need a hundred thousand and like that's something you're probably gonna need to buy with real money because I've played a couple of um, race and stuff and um, you don't you don't earn them so you're gonna have to buy them with real money and then buy the white body kit you get something called designs from players it is currently in development this is an alpha game or beta I don't know I don't really care I don't know what the difference is but whatever just I'll leave the link down in the description to get this game it's free for now I think they're gonna make I think you're gonna need to buy the game for future or in the future and stuff and you can yeah I showed you guys the Vin Lyles not buy. You get paint. Obviously, you can paint your car. You can change it like from like you see there. I just keep mine on glass. It looks nice. Well, actually, I don't know. Should 
I'd rather not, I'll just leave it as it is. And, um, yeah, you get upgrades. Thing is, the funny thing is about this is, I don't know if you guys can see it, because my timer for recording is actually on the screen, but you s I don't know, if it's blocking it, you'll see something, it's like silver, and it says like, it shows like 127, and it looks like an E. If you guys can see it, because I can't see it, so I don't know, it might be different. It should be, hopefully. It'll say experience with um, silver, or in silver, and it say I've got 127, which is actually freaking good. And you use these experience points to actually upgrade your car. Like, if I want to upgrade my steering, then I need to use 30 experience points, and then eventually I can upgrade my engine, and which gives me plus 245 horsepower. I'm already sitting at 283 horsepower, which is pretty damn good. And actually, no, I'm not. I'm sitting at 230. Okay, jeez, because like you see those red things that that made me think now. Oh, okay, that's how much horsepower I'm sitting at. Turns out it's just showing how much horsepower I will have when I upgrade my engine. And like it gets a lot more and stuff, so. That's pretty damn dope. And then also, where you can go is, you can go to your garage. And you can actually go to the store. And like, car store, continue. And like, see, yes. Okay, now this is in the stock car that you get. This is the car that you get when you first download the game and you start playing. You automatically get this car. You can see the differences that I made to it. And then, like, you get this car, which is the BMW, which is actually pretty damn sexy, I won't lie. I think I might be wanting to buy that in the future. And you might see these blocks, but I think... I think it's because the car's still in development, and they're still busy developing the cars. And I think the cars that you can't see are the ones that are already finished. So, like, there's a car. I think this is probably going to be a block car. Or not. Oh, this is... Oh, this is, I think... A Nissan something. And then yeah, there's another block car. They're probably still in development. I think there's one somewhere here that's not Yeah. So this game still got quite a while quite a way to go, should I say. Which is actually freaking cool. I'm very impressed with this game. It is so amazing. I've actually played it a couple of times and I actually played with the Xbox controller. Because um, it supports it, so obviously I'm going to play a drifting game with the Xbox controller, not with keyboard. Fucking hate it. You get team. I think eventually you can, like, join drift teams and stuff that people create. And contacts, that's like, you can add friends and stuff. So, I'm going to do a race for you guys, quickly, and create custom competition. What? Oh, okay. I'm going to go to quick competitions and we're going to do similar car performance. This track I actually know pretty well, like at the back of my head, so we are actually going to play this. Oh, wait, 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 wait. First, okay, no, screw it. Okay, let's go. Similar car performance and start. It is, this is an only online game, so. I know you probably saw offline practice or something. Yes, that's when you're not playing with other people. That's just like you alone. But it needs to connect to the servers to keep track of your do of your data and stuff and of your saves and everything that you've done online. So that's why it says online only. And because obviously for the online store features like other people making designs and stuff. And another thing that's really good about this game is the fact that you can tune it like messed up. Hey guys, um, quick tip, you might be wondering now, like, what the hell just happened? He was busy drifting and then it just skips to this loading screen, what happened? Um, uh, my game actually minimized during, um, j while I was drifting. So that stopped my recording. I'm, I'm, I'm extremely pissed, but we, we're gonna be doing this again. Whoa, what is up with this fucking frame rate right now? Okay, there we go. Okay. Well, I actually, I didn't know that my recording stopped. So, I kept on playing, thinking that my recording was still going on. So, I actually got second place, which I'm really happy with, because the guy that I was up against was actually fucking good. Like, no joke. 
So, um, yeah, I was actually talking about, like, how this game is absolutely amazing. As you can see, that beautiful drifting there. Absolutely amazing drift combo. Oh, shit, I now lost it. Fuck. Yes, I'm first right now. Let's keep that position, baby. Fuck yes. Let's make, like... Oh, can I pull it off? So, yeah, trick to actually getting your drifts in fucking good is that if you're playing with an Xbox controller, I don't know about, like, PC or keyboard and stuff because I don't play with the PC. Um, like, before you enter drift, tap, let go of the accelerate, tap A, and then turn, and then, like, go into accelerate. That That's, like, a tip that I have for you. Like, you go... I'll try and see if I can... How am I second right now? Oh no, I spun out, fuck me. Oh shit, I'm third, okay, that's bad. Yeah, they've actually got ghost mode in this game, so like, you can't collide with players. I think they should actually like, take that away. For like when you're doing tandems and stuff with other people. So that it looks more legit. What did I just say? That sounded funny. More legit. Okay, I'm second at the moment. Let's try and keep it that way. Ooh! That was so damn close to tapping that wall right there. Oh my gosh. I almost freaking tapped that wall. Come on, keep that drift going, yes. I do not want to lose it. Oh! Ken Block, are you watching this, bro? I'm freaking drifting to the max here. Okay, I got a times four combo, which is actually pretty damn good. Oh no, and I lost it. Fuck me. Yes. Beautiful. Just trying to keep that drift going. Hell yeah. Also, another thing they should add is wall taps. Because I've actually done quite a few wall taps and... It's kind of... It just says drift failed. Which is actually... Which actually sucks because wall taps is actually a real thing. I think so. I don't know. I don't know too much about drifting, but it should... I think it's a real thing. I'm not 100% sure. I might be wrong about that. But they should definitely make it a real thing in this game. And if you just start playing this game, you might be like, But yo, Redact, my car doesn't drift like yours. It won't because I actually tuned my car. I don't know anything about tuning cars to suit like drift needs. I just randomly tuned my car. And it like, it started sliding and I was like, fuck yeah. I will show you guys my drift tuning or what I did. And you guys can like just pause the video and then copy mine if you want to. I don't know if that's what you guys want to do then you guys are more than welcome to go ahead and do that because it's just like my drift tune that works for me M maybe it'll work for you guys I don't know so hopefully it does and then just like let me know in the comment section whether this works for you or not because if it does work for you then I'm absolutely happy come on let's keep these combos going oh my god you guys check that drift out, holy shit. That's some real J Jim Connor shit right there, man. Yeah, I'm actually going up against a really good guy. No, don't hit that wall. Okay. Well, I think it's safe to say that we've came second on this one, which is actually freaking awesome. Yeah. Hell yeah, man. Five, four, three, two, one. Yeah! Wow, that was amazing! Once you play this game quite a bit, it actually becomes so much fun to play online. So, what I just did, I just practiced offline with the stock car, stock tuning settings. 20 seconds, 22 seconds longer trip, times 4 combo, 87 kilometers an hour. Okay, second place, fuck yeah, give me that money.
Yeah, I earned 44 experience. I don't know what that E, what that golden E for is. And I earned some cash too. And I came second, guys. Check that shit out. Damn. This guy here, Jury XM. He's actually pretty damn good. He knows his line. He knows his line to the back of his head. But yeah. That was actually really fun. I'm not sure what that free experience is. I actually need to Google that and see what it is. Or do some research and stuff. But yeah, guys. Um, they, There's a lot of things that they... That makes this game so much better than any other game. Even though it's in beta or alpha. I don't know. I'm not sure what it's in. I don't really care. Either one, it's like still test. It's in the testing phase. And what the amount of stuff they added to it is absolutely amazing. I'm going to show you guys my tune setup for this car. I only have one car, so for the car. And then you guys can feel free to copy it if you want to. Do whatever you want. Copy it, whatever. I don't really care. If it helps you, then I'm happy. Let's just quickly do this. Tuning. And first things, the tires. I'm not going to say like what they are. I'm just going to like skip. I'm going to count for like 5 seconds and then I'm going to skip the entire time. So there's my tires. My weight distribution. Transmission. I didn't change any of the first gear. I didn't change any of the first, second, third, fourth, first, sixth of rear gear. I just changed the gear ratio. Suspension. Steering. Okay, I didn't actually I didn't change anything at the steering, so there's no wheel angles. This is actually pretty important. Acceleration didn't change anything there. The brake didn't change anything there. Downforce didn't change the differential. I didn't change anything. So it's just your wheel angle, um, suspension, transmission, weight distribution, and tires. That you guys need to copy it out. And yeah, that is my tune setup for this car, which is absolutely amazing. Absolutely love it. It's brilliant. So once again, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, leave a thumbs up. Go and support the developers by downloading the game and showing your friends about it. And please don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you want more content like this. I don't do a lot of car games, but I will definitely be doing a lot of this, this game, because I freaking love it. So anyway, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.